getting hotter, United States of America US, seems to have been prepared to demolish military power China. United States of America whose hegemony is about to be claimed China, later began to anxiously hope. In order to block the movement China, United States of America began to mobilize military power in the region Asia-Pacific. As if playing with fire with China, the United States fielded 60% of its naval power to block the movement of the Panda country. As many as 375,000 troops have been alerted in the South China Sea. Increasing U.S. military presence in the Asia-Pacific region, with an unprecedented amount, increases the risk of friction with the Chinese military in the region. Tensions between the two superpowers have increased in various fields since U.S. President Donald Trump came to power in 2017, where the two countries flexed their diplomatic and military muscles. Regular operations of the U.S. Navy in the South China Sea to guarantee freedom of navigation, a place where China and its neighbors compete with each other over the region, have angered Beijing and on a number of occasions the Chinese Navy usually warns U.S. warships. Meanwhile, Beijing has also angered other countries by building artificial islands with military installations in several places in the South China Sea. The president of the National Institute of South China Sea Studies, Wu Shikin, said the massive U.S. military deployment in the Asia-Pacific region was unprecedented. Because of this, the Chinese think tank said the likelihood of a military incident or accidental gunfire increased. If a crisis erupts, the impact on bilateral relations will be a major disaster, he said. In a report he presented, Wu said, the U.S. had deployed 375,000 troops and 60% of its warships in the Indo-Pacific region. Where three U.S. aircraft carriers have been sent in the Asia-Pacific region at this time. In comparison, during the eight years of U.S. President Barack Obama's tenure, the U.S. Navy carried out only four freedom of navigation operations in the region. Meanwhile, during the Trump administration which has not been even four years, the U.S. Navy has 22 times conducted freedom of navigation operations in the South China Sea. For this reason, he suggested that the military of the two countries improve communication to prevent strategic misunderstandings and miscalculation. In addition, high-level military meetings must also continue, direct telephone lines must be opened and joint naval maneuvers must be carried out, he said. The report said China did not regard the United States as a potential rival or imagined a new cold or hot battle with the United States. The U.S. even launched a B-52H bomber and two Nimitz aircraft carriers and USS Ronald Reagan to LCS. While China is alerting anti-aircraft weapons such as DF-21D and DF-26 missiles in the region. Beijing called the U.S. a ringleader that made the South China Sea situation insecure. Through Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijin, the Bamboo Curtain said the situation in South China Sea was stable but the U.S. was provoking Beijing with an ASEAN country. The U.S. deliberately sent and mobilized the military for large-scale training at the South China Sea, and showed off its muscles, they have a hidden purpose. The U.S. is creating divisions among the countries in the region and making militarization of the South China Sea. The Chinese Military Army PLA, said the Bamboo Curtain country is ready to fight the threat posed by the U.S. China has several times experienced the threat posed by the U.S. at sea, where the U.S. operates its mothership, he stressed. China's determination to maintain territorial integrity, sovereignty and maritime interests will not be swayed because of the latest threats posed by the U.S. The Chinese military is ready and will deal easily. The U.S. itself stands guard at South on the grounds of upholding freedom in these waters. As is known, China 80% SCS or 2,000 km area is part of the country with the concept of the nine imaginary lines. The Pentagon claimed to be concerned with military exercises conducted by China. 
Moreover, the region disputed several countries, including a number of ASEAN countries. China activities are increasingly making the situation unstable in the territory claimed by China, Vietnam and Taiwan, the Pentagon said. Tensions between the U.S. and China in the SCS region have increased in recent times making the two countries' battle predictions in the SCS more real. Even though the armed conflict between the U.S.-China is very small in calculation, we see their military assets operating regularly and high in the same maritime area, said Colin Ko Sui, a researcher from Singapore some time ago.